So here are some choices that you have. You can keep the colors the way they are, or you can mix them. Thinking of your color wheel. By adding white to your final color, you can make a lighter version. Let me show you how this can be done. Mixing colors together is simple. All you do is twist them together and then just knead until you get the shade or the color that you like. Remember with the model magic, a small amount goes a long way. You don't have to always mix it so it is completely one color. If you want, you can leave it marbled and use that as your basis for your project. When sculpting the sunflower, start with a cookie shape. You can do that by flattening it with your hands or by using a mold. Then, with the pointed end of your scissors, go around the outside gently, cutting away small, teeny triangles. This gives you the illusion of the petals. You can always use the yellow bits that are left over for another project. And when you're done, don't forget to put a center in there. You can always paint this or color it a different color. Now let's sculpt a rose. Take a piece of the model magic, make it into a long sausage shape, then flatten it. Then starting at one end, roll it as if you were making a roll up. Then pull back the edges to create the rose and chop off the bottom. Finally, let's look at creating the last two kind of flowers. The first one is similar to the sunflower. You make a circular or cookie shape and then using the end of your scissors, snip into the model magic to create the petals. You can add highlights by cutting the edges of the petals to give them a more angular effect. When you want to make a center, just use some of your model magic left over and stick it in the middle. The next flower is done with teardrop shapes. Create small balls of model magic and mold them into a teardrop shape. Five is usually a good number. Put them in a circle, joining them together, and finally adding a different colored center. Now you have all the flowers that you need.